Uh, this is an uh, Optonica SM7100 HB uh, that I've uh, decided to rebuild and modify. Uh, I got this thing with uh, blown 8-bit uh, hybrids, I've reconstructed those and uh, then I've sort of gone on a crusade with this thing uh, to remedy all sorts of uh, design issues that I think this thing has. Uh, and uh, I've just kept on adding various changes to this thing over like a week. And I thought I'd go, we'd go through them now to uh, sort of uh, sum them up before I forget them. Uh, so issues that I think this amplifier has from the factory. Uh, obviously uh, the 8-bit hybrids uh, are prone to failure. Uh, so I've reconstructed those with a proper bias adjustment. If the originals uh, did not have bias adjustment, uh, making them um, meh. Uh, the bias would be sort of whatever. I notice I can run these at uh, quite a bit lower bias than is specified, which is nice. Uh, then we have the uh, voltage regulator for the preamplifier. It's on this board and uh, it's, uh, it's somewhat noisy by default. It uh, lets through a bit of mains hum. Uh, so I have uh, put slightly bigger caps on the input of it. Uh, these are 100 micros instead of uh, uh, the original 47, that got rid of a bit of the noise. Uh, the filtered through resistors, so the bigger the cap, the lower the noise. That's fine. I've also put some small uh, film resistors across these, and basically film resistors across most of the electrolytic caps around here. Uh, we also have these uh, small zener diodes here. Uh, these seem to be reasonably good performing ones, at low current, uh, low noise, uh, but I put uh, a couple of small caps across them. And that, uh, uh, all of the stuff in here, uh, gained me about one decibel uh, lower noise floor, uh, one decibel volt lower noise floor uh, out of the speaker output. So it was a lot of work for not a lot of gain, but uh, it, it's, it's something, it's just for fun. Uh, so moving on to the preamp, which is kind of underneath this board in this section here in the front above the knobs. Uh, it's a JFAT uh, designed op amp, I'm not terribly good at those. Uh, it's, it has quite a bit of gain. Uh, I don't remember how much it's... Uh, no, no, it's actually not that much, like 14, 15 dB, something like that. Uh, and it's just sort of noisy, and no matter what you do. It's very sensitive towards noise on the uh, power rails. So these are another couple of 47 microfarad caps uh, that filter that, and I've put some more caps across there. That, might have done something. I think that was part of a 1 dB. Again, the power supply workings I did. I tried putting a couple of inductors in series. Well, these uh, did, didn't do much at all. So I left those out. Uh, so I, I wanted to reduce the gain of a preamp, but I couldn't really figure that out. Again, someone who's better with JFET, uh, a dual JFET uh, preamps could probably figure that out. Uh, it, it's by far the noisiest part of the amplifier. Uh, the power amplifier, after, after I uh, rebuilt the power, power stages, it was absolutely gorgeous. It had like uh, 40 decibel volts of noise uh, and uh, very little distortion. It was beautiful. Uh, so no, no noise there, but uh, when you hook the preamp up, uh, it would uh, have like a total of maybe minus 70 decibel volts. And that's just because the power amplifier has 26 dB gain by default, and it's just gaining up all the noise from the uh, preamp. Uh, so I, I haven't really achieved anything with a preamp. I've just decided, okay, that's noisy. You you gotta re replace it with an off-amp or something to get rid of the noise. Uh, so aside from replacing and uh, a bunch of resistors and matching them when I was mocking about to get ever so slightly better uh, gain imbalance, uh, uh, gain balance between the channels, uh, I, I've not touched it. However, I have modified the tone controls, and this is for the bass. That's what these two capacitors here are. They're across, uh, well, there and there. Uh, and the reason for that is the original bass control on this sounds absolutely awful, in my opinion. Uh, if you turn it up, uh, it will increase bass uh, at low frequency, but it'll also increase stuff by several decibels, up to like 400 hertz, which is just awful. That's speech. So, so, so it just makes everything sound like a cheap radio when you turn the bass up. Uh, and adding to uh, 0 0.022 microfarads, uh, well, what would that be, uh, 22 nano capacitors across these uh, uh, caps here, uh, that uh, basically just pushes that 
uh, rollover point back a bit. It also makes it a bit funky. Uh, just it, it, it makes it better. You also get more range out of a base control because it's some weird Japanese design. So I have a uh, plus 15 decibels of gain now at mm, 40-ish hertz. It, it, it basically gains you up down to 10 hertz or so. Uh, but it, it, it's only up by like a dB or so at uh, 200 hertz. Uh, so, so, so it just makes it sound a, mod, a, a lot nicer. It brings out the sub bass, which is, is a lot better if you're playing on decent speakers. Uh, beyond that, I've added uh, the original design. Uh, it doesn't have any small filter caps across the uh, main caps, and the entire thing seems to be very susceptible to mains hum. Uh, so just a, a mains hum and um, some a noise from some transistor that's uh, sort of working with, with a ripple. Uh, the headphone output in particular is very sensitive to noise uh, and I haven't figured that out. This plug sounds like absolute ass, and I don't know why. Uh, but I have added these, uh, I think that's a 15 nano and a uh, uh, 47 nano. Yeah, that would be 47 and 15 nano just there just to get rid of yeah, any potential high frequency stuff. Didn't measure any difference from those. Uh, just put them in to see what happened and well, they're going to stay there. Uh, now, uh, after rebuilding the amp, it worked, uh, the power amp, it worked absolutely gorgeously. I loved it. Uh, but uh, since uh, the muting switch on this thing, which you would normally use to uh, gain down a preamp noise, is, is for some stupid reason, is on the input to the preamp. So you're just gaining down noise from like your tape player or uh, in modern times your computer, which is absolutely pointless because any modern source is going to have far less noise than the preamp. Uh, so this muting button is basically entirely useless for eliminating uh, preamp noise. So to do uh, away with the preamp noise, I'm going, uh, I'm currently working on uh, decreasing the gain of a power amplifier. Uh, and uh, I started doing that by just uh, dropping the uh, feedback resistors, which is, uh, let's see, it would be R336 here and uh, R349, which is incorrectly labeled. This is R337, actually. Uh, the key night among you will notice that we have two R349 there. Uh, this is the real 349, that's the fake one, which is our uh, divider resistor for our feedback. And uh, these are 10K by, uh, by design. Uh, I first dropped them down to 3.9K. Uh, which worked, but we get a bit of third, third order harmonic distortion coming out of it because it, that, that, that's, I don't know why that happened, but that's super common if you over, over feedback an old amplifier, it'll just get third order harmonic distortion. And uh, dropping it that low, gave, raised our distortion from about 0.001% to 0 0.003, and I didn't like that, so I replaced this now with a, a 6K8. Uh, which is hopefully going to bring our distortion back down. Uh, now that's also going to bring our gain back up, uh, which is a problem because we still need to get rid of the, the uh, preamp gain and the preamp noise. Uh, so uh, what I've done uh, to get rid of noise further is uh, install a couple of series resistors. Let's see where they are. Uh, it would be R304 here, that guy and uh, R303. So these are the uh, input divider resistors, or the input series resistors. This is the input uh, from the uh, pre-out jumpers or around, around the back. And this goes just straight through this resistor, and then it's divided down by a 10K a divider resistor. Uh, so 303 is, uh, no, 303 is originally a 1K, so we have about a factor of uh, 0 0.9 uh, gain of, of the input. Uh, I've replaced it with a 10k, so now we have a factor of 0.5, so we're losing uh, that be 6 dB voltage, I think, if I, if I have my decibels right. Uh, so uh, changing the divider resist, uh, so changing the feedback resistor has brought our gain from 26 dB down to 22 dB, uh, and uh, changing the uh, R303 from a 1K to a 10K is going to bring our gain from uh, 22 dB down to like 18 dB, which is what I want. I want 18 dB of gain in the power stage, roughly, uh, to attenuate the preamp noise uh, adequately for it uh, no longer to be a problem. 
Uh, and I think that's basically it. I haven't actually checked the performance of these last couple of modifications. I'm assuming they're going to be uh, decent enough. Uh, but uh, I want to get this video uh, going before I uh, closed this thing up again and uh, forgot about it completely. Uh, so the unit's been completely recapped, etc, etc. So there are, there are no issues there. So there you go. Uh, the most important thing, uh, the most important modification of these, uh, I think, is the tone control modification. Just uh, adding uh, these two uh, 22 nano caps there, uh, that's uh, making the tone controls so much nicer. You should also note, uh, actually, even by default, if you turn the tone controls on on these, uh, it's it's uh, not actually flat anymore, even if you have them at zero. Uh, because uh, the, the, the design is just weird. It's like up and down d a dB or two across the entire lower range below uh, a kilohertz or so, and uh, there's some weird rippling in the treble, so don't assume this thing to be flat if you have a tone controls on. It's bang on flat from anything to anything if you have them off. Uh, the load nest also. It's, it's nice. That, that works well. A uh, uh, curious thing. Uh, about this thing, uh, the, the loudness works in a completely different way than the tone controls. Uh, the loudness is uh, just a, a passive thing, basically in parallel with the volume control potentiometer there, uh, and that's uh, how they get it uh, volume sensitive. Uh, so loudness doesn't actually add any noise if you turn it on, uh, but the uh, tone controls vary in the feedback circuit of the preamplifier. Uh, and uh, they add noise when you turn them on because there's a bunch of high value resistors in there uh, which are just getting the noise gained up when you turn the uh, tone controls on. So you lose uh, like a dB or two of noise floor uh, just by turning the, no the uh, tone controls on. And which is of course bad when you already have a rather noisy preamp that you're gaining up 26 dB. But yeah, now I'm going to go on to test my latest modifications and uh, probably keep going. Cheerio! And to give you guys some closure, the Optonica has moved from the workbench to the workshop shelf where it's become the new official test amplifier for the workshop where it's going to be spending its day, days driving the 4311s there for most of the time and occasionally powering a test speaker through the extra outputs there. With its tone controls working perfectly, its power meters calibrated, and its tone controls modified and sounding lovely. So there you go. That's a project I'm very happy with. Thank you for watching.